Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just want to show you guys my do-it-yourself do reversible um, Hello Spring Summer sign that I made with my Cricut. Uh, first, I started with a special walnut um, stain that I got from Home Depot because I really love the farmhouse look and I really like um, the color this stain gives. Now, while that is drying, we're going to go ahead and go to our Cricut Space Design. I had already made my um, design already and so I just wanted to speed this up for you guys so you're not sitting here forever watching me do this um but I went ahead and pulled up just the shapes here on space design so that way I could put the exact size of my board um it is 11 inches by 5 feet so I went ahead and put that in so that way I can know how big my letterings need to be um so that way it's all proportioned out whenever I print this bad boy out and start painting onto my canvas Next, I found these little border pieces. Um, I just Googled like butterfly border pieces and I found this little SVG on Etsy and I bought it for like, I don't know, $4 or something like that so that way I can use it forever. All right, and then with the Hello, I actually also got that SVG off of Etsy as well. You can make your own depending on fonts. I'm still learning the fonts, so I'm uh, buying the, the ones that I like off Etsy for now until I really get this down, so. All right, and then with the spring, I wanted it to be super bold because the um, stain is a little dark, so I want to make sure that you can see it from the road, um, and it's really bright and beautiful. I used Beefcake as the uh, font for this. It's something that's just on um, the Cricut Space Design. It's just one of the fonts. I have a little membership that I pay like 15 bucks or so a month for, and I can get the fonts, so I used that one since I really thought it was really bold and would show the colors that I need. And I searched high and low for this daggum sunflower that I put on my board. I know I got it from Cricut Space Design and I don't know why it's not showing up. But now I'm going to go ahead and delete my background for the board because it's not compatible with that. Um, and that way I can go ahead and set up all of my different uh, things for my stencil to be printed out. Alright, now you see how it was showing that each thing was going to be printed out individually. We don't want that because it's going to take forever and waste material. We kind of want things to be grouped together as much as I can. Um, my Cricut Air 2 only does ones, like my mat that I have is like 24 inches. That's the, that's the longest that I can possibly do it. But once I add those in there like that, it then gives me um, all of my different things on the same board. So that way I can make the stencil as long as possible and not have it eat individually. Because trying to line that up is a pain in the neck. Alright, so now that we've got the Hello Spring part all made up, on our Cricut Space Design. I'm just going to go ahead and print everything up so we can go ahead and weed it all out um, and then add it to our canvas so we can go ahead and get it all started. And as a paraplegic here, that was such an almost epic fail. I'm telling you right now, that's an expensive computer, so I needs to be careful now. <laughs> and when crafting, you know your girl's got to have her grabber because I dropped everything. First, we're going to start with putting the hello on. I used permanent vinyl um, for the hello because it's just smaller and I want it to be perfect. I don't want any imperfections on it. Um, with the other words being so big, it's so much easier to paint them on perfectly versus the, the vinyl, which is definitely perfect. Plus, you see how much easier it is to put this on and just peel off and there you go. All right, now it's time for us to put our stencil on our board. You don't have to tape it down like I do to peel it off and put it on your board. I just find it easier to manipulate and really put on your board um, where you need it to be um, with adding the tape on there first. Of course, you always know I start out with my all-purpose sealer. I just want everything to be bright, bold, and beautiful for years and years. Like I said before, the darker your stain is, the brighter your colors are going to need to be so that way you can really see it from the road or wherever you're wanting people to see it from because I did one last year and I could barely see it because the, the colors were just so dark. So I went more with like a pastel type of color um, for Easter slash spring. 
And then as far as this flower went, it was definitely a pain in the neck to do because it had to be super precise since I wanted the I, I, I wanted it to be as popping as possible. So I had to I didn't do it as I'm supposed to when it comes to this thing. So I wanted it to be more of like a flower versus like I don't know just the outline of one. You know what I mean? All right, and as far as those little border pieces, I also used vinyl, but I used Dollar Tree vinyl. I mean, this is like glittery silver Dollar Tree vinyl, which is thebomb.com. And so far, it's been absolutely stunning. All right, now that we've got the Hello Spring side done, we're gonna go to the summer. I used the same font as I did for the spring side, and then I just added the little sunshine around it. I saw this design on Etsy and just loved it, um, and thought this would be perfect for the summer side. And please don't mind my husband in the background. I like to do my arts and crafts in the middle of the night and sometimes this is just how it is. <laughs> Alright, and then after I got it all painted, I went ahead and added some glitter so that way it makes it sparkle a little more, especially since it's the sun. So far so good, but I kind of wish that I would have painted the hello white so it just stood out a little more, but I like it. If you can't tell, the R was a little a pain in the neck to put down, so I had to separate them to get them to stick and make sure they're perfect. Alright, so this is what it looks like without the border on it. Don't hate, I'm jamming to Adele while I'm doing my crafts. It's a must. <laughs> but so far, I do think it turns out, uh, turned out really beautiful. Here's the other side, so that way we can see the completed part as well. And yeah, I think it's super beautiful. I absolutely love it. All right, so I got, um, I finished with my sign, um, painting it and all. That I showed you guys my first school, spring, summer sign. Um, and so I want to put a border around it because I feel like it looks, I don't know, more professional looking, just nicer, um, whenever it has a border on it. So I'm going to go ahead and mark these up now so that way I can get Justin to cut them. We can stain them and then put them on our board. All right, we're coming outside because it's actually a really nice spring day, it feels like, and um, I don't want to get any stain all over anything else. So we're going to do it out here.
So this is what it looks like with the uh, border on it. I wish the border could have been a different color. I don't have a lot of stains, which it, it needs to change. These obviously now have become my crafting pants because I'm too impatient and don't like to wait till everything dries. But um, I'm gonna see, I might sand down the edges, like the border a little bit more because it does match it so much. I don't like that. Um, but I do think it looks a lot nicer with a border on it. Um, and also I'm gonna change the butterflies because I just want them to match. So that's that side. All right, and this is the other side, so. Yeah, like I think it turned out really pretty. We're thinking about adding maybe like some suns or something on here just to give it a little bit more. Or do you think we should leave it alone? What do you think now? And I put glitter up at the top so that way, because the sun's bright and glittery, so not glittery but shiny, so. Yeah, I think it turned out well. I like it. 